trying out a few different things here today. <clears throat> you got to do some maintenance and try to do some updates on this thing. First thing I'm going to do is try to update the firmware in my iPilot Link uh, Altera. I don't know if it's bad or good or whatever, but the first thing it says you got to do, I got to make sure that the Bluetooth is on on my phone. And it is. I apologize for the wind noise because, of course, it's windy at 7 o'clock in the morning here. All right, we got Bluetooth. I'm going to turn this on. And then we'll push that button. All right, now we're going to go try to figure out why it's not sending out his Bluetooth. Okay, so the deal is you have to hold that pair button down continuously until your other device finds it. That it will emit a continuous noise. So we're going to hold that down and scan. That doesn't get annoying very quickly. There it is. iPilot link pairing, Bluetooth pairing request, yes. And it blink, 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 blink. Hey, I think we may be paired. So, now we're gonna go, first thing you gotta do, you gotta download then, you gotta download the iPilot link software. Agree. Hey, motor is stowed, so it is seeing it. Software is available. Yes. I have no idea what it's doing. <laughs> but, yeah. So that's how you can keep your iPilot updated. We'll stay here and kind of watch this for a little bit. The problem with this being on this... Um, I'll let that phone just sit there. The problem with this being on the trailer is if I raise the motor up, uh, it immediately goes back to the depth that I had it set at before. And I had it way down because we were in some big waves and I didn't want the damn prop coming out of the water. So if I tip this thing up to play with it, it's immediately going to try to stab this right down through the tire. Uh, don't ask me how I know. And so I'm not going to do that. But uh, let's see if this thing's doing anything. Oh, there we go. Press to begin update. Keep phone in range. Do not remove power from motor. Keep app in foreground. So, okay. It's doing something. trust this chest strap because I have trouble seeing what the camera's seeing. But it's nice to have two hands free. I guess I'll get used to it. I also noted that it said there was an uh, update for the handheld unit, I think, too, which would be nice. I may try that next. I'm assuming it's going to be pretty similar. You would just connect it and do it. Obviously, you're not going to want to have a dead battery on your phone. And, I mean, I've got my charger plugged in on this thing, so it's not going to be that big a deal. It's depending on how fast your download speed is. This could take a while, I would think. And you certainly don't want the battery dying. It's another neat trick because if you ever lose or have a problem with the battery in that remote that came with the unit, you can do about everything with the phone. And if your setup like mine is with the, uh, the link in the Humminbird uh, fish finders, you can actually run it from there too. But dorking around with the screen buttons on the uh, fish finder is not as easy as the that's the remote, that's for sure, to be as precise. 
all you want to do is set a heading or set the cruise control then it's probably not so bad but if you're really trying to piddle around in trees and limb lines and stuff like that it's not quite as easy initiate up software update complete iPilot is restarting see a speed over ground so it's looking at something software is up to date software is up to date hey everything's up to date well that's kind of neat yeah the motor is stowed but I don't necessarily see how to de-stow it <laughs> to deploy it I really probably shouldn't if it's not an obvious button it may be you gotta hold a button down or something like that I'll, I'll read it up in the manual but I'd, like I said, if I, if I deploy this thing and can't immediately stop it, like you can with the regular one, um, it's going to crash, and I don't want to do that. So anyway, that's how you update the software on your Minn Kota iPilot link. It's pretty slick. Got your little app here. Works pretty good. So I'm going to carry on, see what else I can get into today. I'm going to think I'm going to try to update the software on the fish finders as well, because I think they may need... They may be due for an update, but we'll get our clamp put back on this for travel. No need to beat it up. Done. Turn it off. Cool. Well, that's it. Talk to you all later. So I just started up the controller and it immediately linked into the motor because I was going to try to do it with the phone, but it immediately linked into the motor and is now updating its own software as soon as you started it up. You can skip the software update by the looks, but uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's kind of handy because uh, that was my next thing that I was going to try to do is update the controller software. So again. You want to have all your batteries good. I need to put this into daylight savings time mode. But she is updating. Let's see how long this takes. Transmitters have to be up at the top. goes and now we're back in business neat so again I thought there may have been another step to get this thing updated but it isn't the first time you update or you turn it on and connect it after you update your motor it's going to update itself so really cool
Y'all have a good day.